Hello and good afternoon everybody. We have all kinds of things happening. As you probably know, we released the first draft of the schedule for the January virtual doll convention. It's something I've been working on nonstop for the last several weeks. I hope you guys enjoy seeing it and it will be updated a little bit in the next week or so, but this is pretty much the final product. So if you have not registered, get on board everybody because we're just gonna have the best time and I think it has a really wonderful range of all different things for everybody. So uh, today in the doll shop we are working on a very beautiful doll. It is a rare doll. It's called a Tulier, um, also known as A.T. They're by Andrew Tulier, and I hope I am pronouncing that right. I think that is how it's pronounced. It's how I've heard other people say it, and they're very beautiful. So I'm going to turn the camera on right here just on dollreference.com, which is a great resource. I can find a lot of things about them, and you can kind of see a little bit what their faces look like, but they're very distinctive. They just have this look, and then they're marked with A and then a number, which is usually a size, and T. So they're really fun dolls. They are extremely rare. And you guys, we have been, as you can imagine, it's not quite the final countdown oh, for the convention, but we've been rocking and rolling. And this is one that I wanted to put in our sales room. And so Linda has been rocking and rolling, trying to get these dolls ready for their show. So we're gonna peek over her shoulder and see what is going on over here. Linda, hi. Hi. Wow, look, at you've got all kinds of things happening over here, girlfriend. I do. So what have you been working on today? Well, let me put the other glasses on so I can see. This is the AT. Whoops, uh-oh, oh, there, went, the there went the pins. Okay, I heard a couple, I'll, I'll make sure to help you pick them up. Okay. So this is the AT. And then, so you guys can see what the mark looks like. This is a rather large one. They come in all different sizes, but A12 T. So this is, a, I guess, a size 12 is what that is. Most of the time it is a size. Sometimes it's not, but most of the time it is. Okay. Well, so. We got a What? Oh. She's. Okay. So. <laughs> We've Linda was si show. Linda was sitting <laughs> she was sitting there just in case that doll was just going to roll off the oh, side we would have we oh, would have okay. caught her. We would have caught the doll. Okay. So let's look at her face. Beautiful blue eyes. What did you say you love about the eyes on this type of doll? The deep blue and the paperweight. They're more um they're 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 deeper. The they're paper, deeper. yeah. The paperweights are extremely paperweight. If you look at the side, look at that. Yes, wonderful. Isn't that neat to look at, everybody? So beautiful. And, and then look at the mauve. Yeah, the mauve eyeshadow mm -hmm. detailing. It's just remarkable. That's how I like to do my eyeshadow. I mean, it, that really is. It's fabulous. Fabulous. So. So she is a good girl. She's what, 24 inches tall or so? Something like I that. So you got your clips and you're working all kinds of things. So what is happening with her? I, I don't, which wig did she have on before? Um, let's see. Was it this one? No. This, this one. one. This one. <laughs> this she? <laughs> <laughs> oh. And time-wise. Let's see. Okay, I don't think that's going to work. But, well, it would work with a lot of time. No, we're not going to do that. We just because gonna... I, it's it's a nice old wig, but I think uh, we can probably come up with something so a little better. It. I found this one. And she, it's not curled yet. And it works. It does help when they have a paid. Hmm. See, it gets... Now, is this human hair? Yes. It okay, because hair. we cannot have anything on this girl that is anything, anything but, but human hair. But you can see that. And now... So you've kind of combed it out. You're going to tame it. I'm going to tame it. I'm going to curl it. But I needed to get some hair out of it because it was way too much hair for Linda her. put some on these little wig stands, and she can kind of work on it and curl it and do whatever she needs to do with the wigs just like that. So let's see here. Oh, and well, this. this is gonna 
take some time. Yeah, this is going to take some time, but she is worth it. This is She's gorgeous. Def- I love the hat, and this is what she came with. Yes. But Let's talk can, about this hat. You can see. Huh, there. It has a lot of the wires are coming loose, and I'm going to have to tuck them in. But I was thinking, okay, honey, you got to go lay down. Took a big, it's hard to find old ribbon, but I cut a big piece in half. And I'm going to gather it, and I've spliced it. And we're going to sort of just inch it around like this and tack it, stab tack it. And then what I have left, I'm going to sort of stuff in here and steam this open. Yes, that'll be pretty. To get this, and you can see this is stuck. It's and, and it's very um, what do you call it? What do you call it when the it's, fabric's it's like that? starting to melt? Melting, yes. It's melting on me. So are and you going to be able to steam it if it's melting? Yeah. Okay. I'll put something underneath it and steam it very lightly. I'm learning right along with you guys that are that are viewing right here. So uh, it's so, fun yes. for us all to learn. We're going to do that, and then her dress. Now, this is the one she came on to. You, uh, so a lot of times we will, if it's not the original dress, sometimes we redress them, sometimes we don't. I like this dress. This dress is really pretty, and it's worth, it has, I'm going to find the sleeve. It's this one. It was melting. Yeah, right there. You can see a little tuck. Mm-hmm. So... I'm going to wait until I get this one on, but I'll take a little tuck right here so that this sleeve isn't going to be bigger than this sleeve. But I tried to camouflage the melting right there. And to get it off, we had to open up right there. And I'll have to stitch that because her hands go like this. I love these hands. I when love that, everything about this doll. When you have a hand, a thumb that goes out, sometimes yeah. it's hard to right. to get them tight around the wrist. But you think you can make this work? I'm hoping. What I think I'm going to do is you notice that here's the long one, and it was tacked down. And I like it the length because of the way it comes down. This one's melting really bad. Might take it out. Take it, put it up here for the one, replace this one that's completely gone. Yes. And put these cute little balls. The balls are adorable. Now, it's good for us to know, because I didn't know that you can steam melting silk. Would you guys like us to come back on for a little steaming class when she steams? I think that might be very interesting. And then I'm going to take any pieces that I have... And I'm just going to sort of tack them under here to just support that where it's been laying flat all this time. See, it's really. Mm. And I'm going to have to take these little cute bow ties out. I don't think I'm going to have enough. But if I do, I'll try to get it back in underneath this cute little. Look at that ribbon embroidery. It is so sweet. And I love it. But Linda, when do we make the distinction between this is just going to take three days or I hope it's not going to take three days because that's what I was sitting here thinking uh-huh. which is the easiest way to do it and how much do I do right and I do not want to take I guess the integrity of the garment away so if if you look underneath let me show you if I can very carefully Okay, there you can see it. I did not clip anything. Because you start clipping, especially if it's melting, you're going to really get into trouble. Mm -hmm. So I've just done a really neat little running stitch here. And when I stitched it, I stitched it across because these fibers are pulling. And that's what melting means. So that's what... And she'll last for a couple more nice years if she's kept out of the sunshine. Absolutely. And on a doll like this, of course, on an AT, we could spend a week on her and it would be fine. It's, it's a very wonderful, um, valuable doll. But we're also in a time crunch. We're in a time crunch. <laughs> 
but we, we don't got we her. don't got a week. She needs to go to a new <laughs> new home and and be in loved. We're so. yeah, we're trying to we're trying to cruise him along. I I I wish I could just say, Linda, can you um please uh, do fifteen dolls a day? And um, uh, I would say yes, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then she'd laugh and and then let me uh tootle on back to what I was doing. So she's got wonderful undergarments. Let's yes. take a look at this. I, lo I love. It's very simple, but look at the embroidery, mm -hmm. the eyelet and here you, on the bottom. And you can see where they have taken a chemise or a shift and added this to make her slip, full slip. So this is a good idea. You guys can do that. See that? Yeah. It's really cute. But Super that's what cute. they had. And what a good idea. Of course, I had to replace the snaps. Oh, you, we cannot have snaps on dolls. And of this age. I'm just going to take... That's a no-no. Right there. I can take hydrogen peroxide and clean that. Is that... What is that? That's dirt oh, from, okay. the, from the snap. Yeah. And it's really simple. So in, in the virtual here. convention, everybody, we teach you how to put on snaps and how to take off snaps, which is a very, very... Good thing to do on antique dolls. You're not going to want to have snaps, but on, but on modern dolls and vintage dolls, you can absolutely do snaps. So you're just taking straight up peroxide and just sticking it right on there. Usually it comes right off. You can see it lifts it. It's not perfect, but it's better. See the dirt coming up? That's a great tip. I removed it. This was dirty right there but I didn't do this side I neglected that side so once it dries it it will be clear do we use buttons instead of hook and eye I think you can use either either or yep either or either or now when did the snap thing Ooh. start so when when's, when's a good distinction line for um I really I, I would say probably like 30s I think so. We're in the 30s, 20s, 30s. 20s, 30s is, is your hard cutoff. And then... But you know. they used a lot of buttons back then. A lot of flat buttons. You're always safe with buttons, I feel like. Oh, I think buttons are, you know. But I would have to look it up, honestly. Yeah. But I just automatically do hooks and no wire eyes. I always do loops. Yeah. And that's just something I always do. So for those who are just tuning in, we are just starting our journey today with this wonderful AT. It's by Andre Toulier, and it's a very rare French doll, just wonderful. They're so distinctive because the eyes. I really feel like you can just tell one immediately by the eyes. Look at the threading. Yes, the threading is magnificent, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Yeah, she's got great coloring. Very sweet doll. So we're going to come back and we're going to learn some steaming and we're going to see some of the other things that have been happening around here with this girl. So it's an exciting day, everybody. Check the virtual doll convention. We have just released our first look at the schedule, which is so exciting. And um, it's, it's convention prep all day, every day. All day, every day. So, you want to show them the boots? Oh, the boots! Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys! I forgot all about the boots. We got in another shipment from the man in his secret hut in Russia of the gorgeous Hure boots. They are mystery colored, so you can. If you buy one right now on the video, you can shoot us an email and say, hey, I'd like the blue ones or I'd like the red ones. But look at these incredible, incredible boots. So beautiful. They are, like I said, handmade by a secret man in Russia in a little hut. He hand cobbles them. Look at that. Leather. Aren't they just some of the best boots you've ever seen? Linda? I love them. <laughs> and for those tuning in, aren't they some of the best boots you've ever seen? Look at the, the distressing. And for the time he takes. Oh, I can't even imagine. And what I I was looking at is the heels. They're just perfect, but they're done by hand. 
Yeah, well, or we, they we just made them. wedges together, and that was I was so exhausted after the class, and I wasn't even doing the work. I couldn't imagine. I can't imagine. But, yes. Yes, they're hand-cobbled <laughs> boots. They're just absolutely incredible. It takes me a few months to get just a little shipment of 20. And we're lucky to get that. So they are in the virtual convention gift shop. We have them in this beautiful brown, in the blue. I love the blue. And then the red laces. Just fabulous. And they've got these great buckles, all leather, really spectacular, just absolutely divine. So this, I don't know why these are in here, though. This must be like a one-off because these are actually... Um, These are actually red. All the other ones are are and they're, um, suede. And they're suede. Yes, there's a there's a match right here. That is interesting, because all of our pairs are this wonderful brown leather that is distressed. You guys, they're just so wonderful. But I don't know if we meant to get these ones. That's all right. I love them. I love them. Keeping them. Okay, so you can guys can get those in the virtual convention gift shop. I only have twenty pairs. Actually, more like eighteen pairs. And they're the absolute best. Okay, we're going to come back with a steaming class when Linda gets steaming over here. And so what are you working on next? The hat. I am. I'm fascinated by that hat. Yeah, That's I love challenge. the hat. The hats are so important. And, Lindsay, you are a wizard with what you do with hats. So it's, it's a fun day. Stay with us, everybody. We will be back. Bye. Bye.